Alright, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Kahalayim, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai is the name of His Son, our Lord and our Savior. We are the nation of Yahshua, which consists of you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans of today. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to you, Sincere Aki, and pushing this truth in sincerity. And Shalom to the Sincere Aqua. Lord, will this be edifying? And as you see here on the screen, I just wanted to go into uh, this 5.9 magnitude uh, earthquake that happened in Afghanistan and how, uh, according to prophecy, the earthquakes are, are prophetic in the times that we're living in, you know. And uh, let's just go ahead and go into the precepts. This is the Lord Shai when he was speaking unto the disciples when they inquired. Actually, let me just read it. Uh, Matthew 24 and 3. It says, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, talking about Shai, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world. All right, so let me go into this real quick. So this word world is going into a, the end of an age. Let's see what it's saying. Strong's G165, I own, I own. I own. All right, so when shall be the sign of, of the coming of the Lord Yahawashai? And when shall be the end of the world, meaning the end of an age? And we know pursuant to uh, second address, the, se the uh, sixth chapter in the ninth verse, and it reads, it says, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. And if you read the previous verses, uh, it goes into how our forefather, Jacob, who is the forefather of the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans of today, which uh, his name was later changed to Israel, making us the Israelites, the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Uh, Jacob's hand held the heel of Esau when we was in our, uh, our mother's womb, uh, Rebecca, okay? And Esau is the forefather of the so-called white race, all right? So just sticking on topic on how the earthquakes go into the prophecies. Let's get back to it. I just wanted to go into that real quick. Um, it says, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately saying, tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? Well, let's see what the Lord Yahweh spoke unto the disciples concerning this. I just want to get straight to the point in verse 6. It says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Verse 7, For nations shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And we see that today with the whole uh, Ukraine-Russia conflict, uh, you know, North Korea coming up. Um, you know, high tensions with the with the with the whore Babylon the Great. You know, you know they're they're uh, adverse to South Korea. You know, you got the what's going on over there in Iraq. You know, you, you got a plethora of, of of wars and rumors of wars and kingdom against kingdom. Let's read on. And there shall be famines. All right, we know we're in the midst of a shortage on many items. All right, but uh, what's gonna uh, really get these people in the world? specifically the two-thirds to understand that this is prophecy that we're living in it is when they can't go to the, the grocery stores or these fast food places and they can't get uh, um, their convenience of food well you're gonna know that a, a prophet have been among you all right it says and pestilences all right we already know what it's going into with them pestilences you know for the past two years you should well understand that it's prophecy you know even with the new thing that's that's popped up, you know, with the, uh, I ain't gonna say it, but you know, Tupac, you know, just kind of catch my drift. Uh, monkey, Tupac, you know, you know what I'm talking about, all right? So, uh, it says, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. 
all these are the beginning of sorrow. So I just wanted to touch bases that the Lord told us that these earthquakes is going to be in diverse places. And as you see here, a 5.9 magnitude earthquake hit uh, Afghanistan. And as you see here, also down here, as I'm scrolling through, look at all these earthquakes that's coming to pass, you know. And it's week in and week out, you know, there's new earthquakes that Yahweh Hashem Yahshua is creating. Look, one in Atlanta, I didn't even know about that one, you know, close to near Atlanta, you know, so... Yeah, you know, prophecy is coming to pass, but I specifically want to stick on this, that earthquake right there, in which I uh, brought up. Uh, let's see, let's go to the news. I thought I had it queued up here. Apparently, I didn't. Now, let's go to the news real quick on that. Uh... It was, a, it was an article that I have. Um, it should be right here. Let me see. Yeah, Afghanistan quake kills a thousand people. Deadliest in decades. All right. So it killed a, 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 a handful of people, a thousand people. And that's the will of Yahweh Shimei Shah. What does the, the Lord say in the book of Deuteronomy? Um, let me read this Isaiah. 20, 29 and 6 it says thou shalt be visited of the lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise with storm and tempest and flame of devouring fire all right so i'm just trying to stick on the point that the lord told us that we're going to have earthquakes it's a part of the prophecy you know and uh let me let me get that real quick concerning the thousand people that in which yahweh shimmy Shah took off this earth you know Deuteronomy 32, I believe 29. Should have it highlighted. Uh, yeah, Deuteronomy 32 and 39, Salakia. It says, See now that I, even I, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive, I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand okay so understand this that Yahabah Shem Shai sanctioned this to, to happen you know and even in the book of Amos it says shall there be evil in a city and the Lord have not done it surely the Lord God uh, let me get that Amos will do nothing but he reveals his secrets unto his servants the prophets let's see if I got that right I just want to make sure I got it right it says, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord hath not done it? Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Alright? So understand that, that Yahweh Shem Shah, he sanctioned this to happen to those thousand people, in which he uh, called back up to the heavens, you know? I'm going to read a little bit. It says, A powerful earthquake struck a rugged uh, mountainous region of eastern Afghanistan early Wednesday flattening stone and mud brick homes and killing at least a thousand people the disaster posed a new test for Afghanistan's uh, Taliban rulers and relief agencies already struggling with the country's multiple humanitarian crisis you know they already got something going on over there uh, in many different facets because you got to understand you know Esau Edom you know the, the the sword of the earth the wicked you know he just now pulled out pulled out of Afghanistan if I'm not mistaken after 20 years two decades of, of you know bombing them you know war you know killing you know Yahweh Shimei Shah, you know he's bringing this prophecy to pass and he hit him with a 5.9 magnitude earthquake they're, they're nothing but the heathen anyway, you know. But for any brethren, you know, elect over there, you know, Lord will, they be in good case, you know. So, uh, let's see what else I got here. Oh, that second Edris 9 and 1. It says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And how are we doing that? We're doing it by way of the scriptures, by way of the prophecies. We know we're in that time that the Lord told us about, the beginning of sorrows. And we know we're about to come into the time of Jacob's trouble. 
which is in Jeremiah 30 and 7. Daniel 12 and 1 describes it, a time like no other since there's been a nation uh, where, where Michael the archangel is going to have to stand up for the children of thy people. You know, talking about the Israelites, the elect. Okay. And also, uh, let's just read on. It says, And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou well understand. Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. We just read in Isaiah 29 and 6 that thou shalt be visited of the Lord with, with uh, storms and tempests. Earthquakes was in there. Devour, devouring fire. You know. So the Lord is visiting this place. And we, we, we understand that by way of the prophecies that's written. Okay. Verse 3 is the point. It says, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall thou well understand that the Most High spake those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world hath the beginning and the end, the end is manifest. And what's that end that it's talking about? Well, we read it in the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter. When it shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world, going into the end of the age, which is the end of Esau's kingdom, uh, Second Ezra six and nine. Just going, just getting the point again. That is a period of time or age, you know. Well, then it says verse five: For like as all that is made in the world has the beginning and the end, the end is manifest. The end of Esau's kingdom is is here, you know. So, Lord will, this is edifying. I just wanted to go into that and how, you know, the earthquakes are written within prophecy. And the Lord did tell us about it, you know. Just kind of take a look at all these articles they got going on into it. You know, this is a lesson. Lord will, this is edifying. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to you, sincere. I can push in this truth and sincerity. Shalom to the sincere. Aqua. Shalom.